Dave Atkinson of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, president of that uh, great organization across the state. And besides a lot of things that you've had some face time for the last uh, few days and weeks, uh, you've got a, uh, a hefty uh, agenda and some time left in the legislature and a lot of initiatives. And I want you to tell me about those. Well, thank you, Bill. Um, the Kentucky Chamber has five strategic priorities for the state of Kentucky, and number one is education. So there are several bills in this General Assembly right now that are still hanging out there that could come about. We're very much in favor of increasing the mandatory attendance age in high school from 16 to 18, sending a message to our young people that it's not acceptable anymore in this kind of economy to drop out of high school. We hope that that can be paired with uh, a great initiative coming out of the Senate having to do with career uh, and technical training. Mm -hmm. We'd like to see those two both move forward. We've also created a program now that's not in the legislature, but just a program the business community in Kentucky is doing. We're sending principals through executive level leadership training. Some of the top corporations in Kentucky send their executives through leadership mm -hmm. training with the Center for Creative Leadership. It's based in North Carolina and Colorado. We're now paying for principals across Kentucky to go through that. It's very expensive because it's a world-class leadership training intensive program. They are in class for seven days. Uh, there's a three-day retreat and then a two-day, another two-day. So seven days in class, plus they get a professional coach who's available by phone and email for a year. So we're trying to make that investment, and we're going literally to all 120 counties to ask a business or several businesses in the county great to idea, sponsor though. the principals from that mm -hmm. county. Yeah, great idea. We would like to be able, we'll send 75 this summer. Mm -hmm. We'll spend over a million dollars this year to do this. We're hoping to expand it to where we could send over 100 a year. Uh, you and Dr. Terry Holliday are also working on uh, some initiatives, and uh, uh, I, we heard Dr. Holliday speak at the uh, uh, the Chamber's Economic uh, Summit last uh, year. Tell us just briefly about that. Well, probably the biggest thing happening in education in Kentucky right now are the new standards that have been implemented in the schools this year. And this goes back to a legislative action which was very positive a couple of years ago. The biggest reform since CARA Kentucky education reform back in 1990 has been these new standards in our schools. And kids are going to be taking tests on these standards this spring. So Dr. Holliday and I are going around the state to show solidarity between the business community and the education leaders of our state, saying we've got to hang tough with these standards. There will be some pushback. Parents will be disappointed yeah. in the scores. Schools will be disappointed in their scores because these standards are based on international standards. So we're saying from the business community, we stand with you educators. We're going to support you in these new standards because that's what it's going to take to prepare Kentucky's workforce for the global economy. Well, you work hard. You're a great representative uh, for uh, Kentucky business. Uh, we wish you luck through the rest of the uh, uh, legislative session. Uh, and I will have to say good luck uh, through the rest of the session, too. Thank you, Bill. And thanks for all the KET does for Kentucky. Well, thanks a lot. Right. That was After the Show with the president of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, Dave Atkinson.